Tokyo Electric Power Company executives have bowed to pressure and released some of the most important evidence from the early days of Japan's nuclear disaster. They've unveiled videos that document the efforts to deal with the meltdowns and explosions at the Fukushima Daiichi plant. TEPCO officials show the recordings to the media Monday. Select journalists will now be able to watch 150 hours of edited tape from March 11th to 16th, 2011. It tracks the back and forth conversations between workers at the nuclear plant and personnel at headquarters. TEPCO also released 90 minutes of edited video. The videos show workers struggling to contain the accident after the plant lost all power sources. A series of hydrogen explosions in the early days of the disaster confused them. Company executives were also puzzled about the government's intervention in the crisis. TEPCO officials banned reporters from making their own recordings of the videos. They haven't said if they will release video from after March 16th. NHK World's Yoichiro Tateiwa joins us and has been following this story. So tell us about the significance of this video. Jeez. Well, TEPCO's telecom conference is the only remaining record of communication between workers at the plant and employees at the company headquarters. The video begins at around 6.30 p.m. on March 11th. It goes on to record critical conversations that reflect how decisions were made and how the situation changed from time to time. Now, the accident happened more than a year and a half ago. Why did it take TEPCO officials so long to release this video? Basically, they didn't want to release them. Mm -hmm. They hadn't disclosed the videos even existed. We found out about the recordings in March through the course of an investigation into the accident by a diet appointed panel. NHK and other media repeatedly made requests for access to the videos, but TEPCO officials have refused until now. They said the videos are internal records and they cited concern about the privacy of their employees. They finally re agreed to re release the recordings from the five days from March 11th. They edited the image to prevent individuals from being identified. How are people reacting to TEPCO's reluctance to release these videos related to the disaster? Experts say all records should be under public control, even if access is limited. The Tatsuya Yoshioka is the head of a Japanese NGO calling for the abolition of nuclear plants. Here's what he had to say. This is the kind of very important historical the document, the record. I hope the TEPCO themselves to decide to open up more and more and more, as much as possible transparency. And at the same time, that I would like to ask to the Japanese government that to make a pressure to them to release all the information. The TEPCO shareholders uh, suing the company's executives filed a petition for the videos to be preserved as evidence. They fear, they fear that the utility may erase the, the recording. The proving to the causes of the accident is not finished. These videos will surely be needed for the investigation. The government should take action to preserve all records rel related to the accident, the, this incident in the public archive. All right. Thanks for that. NHK World's Yoichiro Tateiwa.